37. Before there was Stefan Marbury, Mark Jackson, Brooklyn was the birthplace mm -hmm. to one of the most legendary street ballers around. Yeah, he went from the basketball court to the big screen, and OG is here to tell us all about it. Yes, I am. Good morning, everyone. So he's one of the greatest street ball players of all time. Crowds gathered to watch Black Jack Jackie Ryan dominate the basketball courts on West 4th Street in the village. Now you can gather around your television sets to get up close and personal with Black Jack in a movie based on his inspiring true story. Here's a clip. Come on, Jack, I got money on this game. White Let's go. Michael Jordan. Jackie Ryan is one of the biggest wastes of town in the history of basketball. If I see pass the ball in the post, pass the ball in the post. Jack Ryan, you want to play point guard in the NBA? Joining us this morning is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Black Jack Jackie Ryan. Woo! All right, guys. I gotta say work. welcome back. And when I say welcome back to guests, it's because they've been here a couple of times. You, I lost count at 82. I don't know. Uh, well, it all started like 1997 when I became a Harlem Wizard and Julian Phillips did a story on me. And then from there, Larry Hoff so many times and Scott Sanford and Got to give a big shout out to my man, Tony Mazza. There you Love go. That yeah, so you practice, you have a build, you like a card to the building, to get yourself in the building, if people don't know. All right, so this movie starts at one of the high points of your career when you were trying out for the Nets, when they were still here in Jersey. So talk to us about where we pick up, because we know you shot around the city and in Brooklyn. How was it to relive that time in your life? Um, it was very exciting. <laughs> you know, this movie was a long, uh, it, it, it took over 10 years to get done, but it got done. And, you know, I have to give thanks to Danny who believed in this film and, and he got it done. And, you know, the guy that plays me is a superstar. I can't wait for everybody to see him. I mean, he's from Portland, Maine. He has that new England accent, but he really did a great job pulling off the, um, the Brooklyn accent. And he's a ball player. He's an actor and he's a ball player. So he was, when, uh, they did the casting, when he went, they said, that's it. Shut it down. We got Jackie Ryan. And you guys have the CW connection because he's like iZombie. You're talking about Greg Finley, who plays you. Yeah, so yeah. were you there on set every single day? Did you have to give certain pointers? Did he come by you and say, hey, Jackie, would you do this or would you do that? I was I was on for the basketball scenes. I didn't want to miss the basketball scenes and maybe a couple of other uh, things I went up for. But uh, yeah, it was really exciting. Everybody was really cool. Everybody, Jackie, Jackie, so nice to meet you. You know, I have Brandon Lee and David Arquette and, you know, all these actors and actresses, you know, Ashley Green. Jackie, so nice to meet you. I'm like, wow, so that cool. Is, that is just incredible because not many people get movies made about their lives. So, you know, you've reached legendary status when there's a movie made about you. So I have to ask this question because I remember one of the last pieces I saw about you on our, on our segment, your daughter, Morgan, Mo, was, I think, 10. And you were talking about, she was talking about how she wants to go to UConn. You were like, no, I want her to go to uh, Pace because her mom went to Pace. And I was like, does everyone play basketball? Is this genetic or do, can uh, just anyone do this? Because I feel like the, the genes play a lot. Well, yeah, the genes. I mean, her mom was a two-time All-American at Pace and then played one year pro in Portugal. And, you know, I am who I am. But uh, Morgan's, you know, she's thriving. She's doing great. She's a basketball and soccer star at Rutgers Prep. Wow. All right, so we already know that genetics plays a, a, a role in all of this. Genetics, talent. So how late, how late is to, I see, see, I did this for you. Thank all in Wizards. Because you and Mo used to, you know, perform together, right? Yeah. Still do, still do. You still do? Oh, wait, so, so well, here's the deal. How late is too late to, pick up any skills like this because, you know, some of us have none at all. So do I have hope or should I just not even bother? Well, no, it's, it's, it's never too late. You're never too old. It's, you know, you got to be passionate about it and you got to put a lot of hours. You know, I am where I am today because I've been doing basketball tricks for 51 years. I started when I was eight years old and uh, you do something that long, you're going to get good at it. Yeah, and, and your story is just incredible. Like, some of us would never get to even reach that level, no matter what, whatever it is we do. And one of our editors, uh, Court Stanley, wrote that he thought he knew how to play basketball and then until he met you, and then I guess you checked him. Um, well, I remember Cord way back when, when Morgan was a little baby, and I had this, where he interviewed, he asked Morgan, she was like 
three years old and asked her something about basketball and she said dribble and shoot and she went like that and it's just so adorable but yeah that was cord my man cord i know him a long time all right so we've known you a long time too so and i know that you're you're magical so what can you uh, what, what am i doing wrong here oh did you see that are you oh. impressed I, I saw it, yeah, I, I'll give you a, a, cup, a little tip. Okay. You have to get a fast spin. Uh, so if you, don't, you can't palm it, use two hands, and you have to get an even spin, an even axis, and then you have to catch it on your finger like a shock, shock absorber. <laughs> Did anyone see that? Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, you guys didn't see it? Oh, wait. I spun the ball on your finger in Coney Island years ago. Tony was there. I don't know if you remember. I remember uh, everything, but I'm, I can't wait to watch Black Jack, the Jackie Ryan story. It's gonna be released tomorrow on Amazon Prime Video. Be sure to check it out. We're so happy for you, sir. Come back anytime and teach me some tricks. I can be part of the Harlem Wizards, right? Is it yes, too late? Can. I put you on the team. I know the owner real well, Tom Ooh, Davis. I'm oh, in. Oh, he oh. said I'm in. I heard him. He has power. Ooh, he knows people. Uh, Jackie, she, Jackie, years ago, the Harlem Globetrotters were here. They had to literally hold her finger by the... And, <laughs> no, he's and, Harlem and, Wizards. No, no, but I believe someone else was in the studio once, and she, they yeah, spun I the know, ball. Yeah, I know. I couldn't I do it. And, and she, she has to have help at all times, Jackie. I do. Can you please come help her out? I'll, I'll be right over. I'm in L.A. When I get back, honey, when I get back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's still trying. Oh, gosh. You, by the tempted. way, I just got to say, you're like a class act, such a nice guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just, this, so this will be the rest of the show. It's just OG trying to spin <laughs> one half of a rotation of a ball. Oh, gosh. This is... Uh, Jack, by the way, thank impressed. you. He's impressed. That's all I'm saying. You no, know, he's not. I'd pay to watch this. He I said he let me... He's I'd, I'd pay tickets. <laughs> Did anyone see that part? No, yeah. no, we're not watching. It happened. It happened. <laughs> it happened. She scores! <laughs> I'm going to teach you how to catch. Oh, no. Here, Bounce pass. Oh, it's bounce pass. Bounce pass. No, no. Bounce I don't, pass. No, Ben. No. I know what you're going to do with the ball. No. <laughs> My goodness. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, everybody should go watch that story. Absolutely.